Hey VC, it's Ronnie and Wolfie. Yep, it's been a while since you've seen us. So, have we been busy this summer? Yes. Yes, we've been very busy. And I appreciate all you guys keep calling me and texting me and messaging me and going, "Hey, are you still alive? Haven't seen you for a long time." Well, yep, we're still alive. Just happened to be uh, when school ended, everything got crazy, didn't it? Yeah. So, hey, we're here. We're still here. We took some time tonight to do a video say hi. Is that it? Are we leaving after that? Mm -mm. We're gonna leave? Mm -mm. Should we show some records? Mm -mm. That's why we're here, right? Show some records. So, um, obviously, I've probably got a bunch of records since you've last like seen me. Right? Or something. I've, I've got quite a few, right? So, and so has Wolfie, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a few. So, I'm gonna show a few. He's gonna show a few. I'm gonna show a few. He's gonna show a few. We just made a little stack, right? All right, so why don't we get going and uh, we'll burn through this as quick as we can so it's Dad, not a very long video. Dad. That's, is that it? Yeah. Something like that. All right, so a couple nights ago I went by our secondhand store, which is becoming very expensive actually, Goodwill. Yeah, they're all jacking the prices up on everything and including records. So it's hard to find any record there for under six dollars now isn't it mm -mm. there's one for like 99 cents was there one for 99 cents it was for it was a 45. it was a 45 for Without 99 cents. Case. and no case right but and, it wasn't scratched at all yeah but even all the little like evie and uh tennessee ernie fords and all those were like 299 that that's their base price now 299 i was gonna pay three bucks for those so but i did find a few right yeah so first one Synchronicity. I didn't have this one, so I was pretty pretty happy to get it in, in pretty good shape. I've already cleaned it and got it ready to go on the shelf. So, yep. Police. I'm not going to spend a lot um, of time talking. So, um, should we show them our new cleaner? Uh, we can show that later. That one right there. Right. Oh, right there. Yeah, I got a VPI a little while ago. It was used because I'm not paying new prices for that. So, and, uh, Last night was the first time we used it, wasn't it? And did it clean a lot quicker? Yeah, but this morning it leaked. No, it was this afternoon. Afternoon. Yep, because Dad messed up. So, another one. Rebel Yell. I've had this on tape and CD, but never had it on vinyl, so now I do. Pretty happy. Like I said, I was not, I'm not going to talk too much about these, these albums, because most of them you guys have, and... So, and the third one, Black Sabbath Volume 4. I can't believe I actually found a Black Sabbath album in pretty good condition. So Black Sabbath! Yeah, it was the most expensive one that they had. I want to say it was about $8. So, $8 for that. And it's not a reissue. It's a 1973, I think it is. Yep. 72. I think it's 72. But, alright, your turn. Okay, so I got this one from my brother for my birthday. Dr. Seuss. The Cat in the Hat. And is, is, that, a, is that a good album? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite song on it? The Super Super March. The Super Super March. Sweet. The second song. Oh. Sweet. All right, what else you got? <coughs> I got coughs. You got coughs? All right, get those out real quick while you're grabbing your next one. Who's that? Well, somebody just named Elvis. Elvis. You don't like Elvis at all, do you? Honky donkeys. Hmm? Honky donkeys. Honky donkeys. All right. So what about that album? Well, I haven't listened to the full thing, but so far, my favorite thing, my favorite one is How Great Though Are Hine with the Jarndyce and the Interest <laughs> Question. So it's How Great Thou Art, Him, right? No. Yes. How Great Thou Art, Hine. With the Jordani, 
Jordaniers <laughs> and the Imperials Quartet. <laughs> so you like that song though, don't you? You like to sing that song. Especially when we do it in church, right? Yep. All right. All right. You're my turn. Yes. My turn. All right. Should it be another Black Sabbath? I don't know. Should it be? So a little while ago, I found Black Sabbath 1. Another Black Sabbath. Yep. I got this. This is the Rhino Records release. And it sounds great. Um, I didn't have this one on vinyl at all. But it sounds it, really good. It's a um, pretty good reproduction. And I, it sounds... I, I've only seen it one other place and it was really expensive and horrible condition. Yeah, it was. So, that was also a, a British version. Yeah. Original. Yeah, I can't afford that. So, yeah, this one I want to say was like 11 bucks on Amazon. So, I'm very happy with it. And we'll do one more Black Sabbath, right? Is that like Ghost Rider Black Sabbath? It looks like Ghost Rider, doesn't it? So, 13. So... See, yeah, I got all my my Blake sleeves on, and so they're all. But if you haven't heard this, this is a great album. Um, one of the album albums that Wolfie has, I uh, found him on Discogs, and the seller was selling this uh, mint for twelve bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. So there we go. So they knew it. The next one, you might know it. Ultimatum. Ultimatum. You like that album, don't you? Yep. I couldn't give it up. Couldn't give it up, huh? You can probably just show that by turning it around. Oh, okay. He wants to show you the record. Kind of like a rainbowy green color. And yeah. no, that is not moldy stuff. So, I also. No. Got this, if you can see it. And. Yeah. Yeah, is that pretty cool? I couldn't pass it up. No. And then I also got that the that's the poster that came in it, right? This. Yep. Yes. Painted by who? Mr. Andy Borders. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He did a cool job on that. Mm-hmm. A really good job. We're going to be putting it up on your wall, aren't we? Yeah. Yep. All right. Another one? Okay, so get that thing. Oh. I think he wants to do a seal to reveal. Yes. A seal to reveal. So what is it? Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Johnny Children's Cash. Children's album. Wow. Is that pretty cool? And it is from the record store day. For record store day, huh? Mm -hmm. Did somebody get you that for record store day? Somebody named Ronnie. Ronnie? Really? This guy. That guy. So you want this one opened up? Yeah. Check it out. You think it's See special you? inside? Maybe. Maybe? Yes, it is record. What's the matter? Well, um, I just got another poster. Oh, is that pretty cool? Yeah. It's an insert, actually. Insert, whatever. Yeah. It is kind of a poster, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then, I'm going to say this is black. Yes, it is, but I got this card. What do you got? Is that a download card? Yep. So you can download it. I think it sounds better on record, but clean this. Yeah, we'll clean that up and get that spinning, won't we? Yeah. Alrighty. 
Wait, wait, wait. Nothing else. Nothing else. All right, let's set this right over here. All right, so as we're moving along and uh, not taking too long. So this is a band that I have all of those CDs, but I had nothing on vinyl until very recently. Bye for a second. Living Sacrifice, Ghost Ship. And this is a, a clear vinyl. So I don't really like clear vinyls because you can't see any skips or anything on it. And um, when I ordered it, I didn't realize it was already open as a new one because I bought it from a store. And um, it was actually used, already opened. But it's uber rare and they're not out there. So I was like, oh well. I didn't pay tons of money Next. for it, but it wasn't cheap either. So, let me sacrifice. Man, it sounds really good. All right, so my next one, um, back in the early 90s, uh, this gentleman put out a couple, couple albums. I got one of them on CD at the time, and it was a 24 karat gold CD. It was kind of a, a fad or something for a while to do that. So, and I got Frank Sinatra duets. And so I really enjoyed it. I, I like Frank Sinatra at all. And in fact, that, um, can I even show this? And you can see it. If you can see side one and side two, there we go. Side one and side two are actually um, of duets one, are the first disc. And side one and two of duets two it was the second one. So. Um, it's a gatefold, just, just phenomenal, phenomenal sounding vinyl. Phenomenal. 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 All right. Should I do one more? I'll do one more. So, this is Led Zeppelin 1. Most of you guys know that. Um, I saw this on Amazon. I, I don't have Zeppelin 1 yet on vinyl, and so I pulled the trigger. This is one of the... Um, the the remastered ones by Jimmy Page. And I'll tell you what, every one I've heard so far sounds great. Um, this one, oh, when uh, I put it on the first time I heard, heard uh, Good Times, Bad Times, uh, hearing Bono's drums just go, go oh man, just, I, I, I was imagining that I was there listening to it the first time. It sounded just great, and I love this album. All right, you've got a couple more. So, um... This one actually got hurt when it was in the packaging. Sadly, this one got hurt when it was in the packaging. On all four corners, it is hurt. All four. But, here it is. Tell about that album. So, um... I got this one for a specific song when I heard it on Dad's phone, and I was like, I want this on record. So, um, you will have, you will hear what it is later. Yeah, so... So he came back with, from camp with his mom, and he said, hey, I love this one song on the Journeyman album. I said, really? You were listening to Eric Clapton, and they're listening through, uh, were you doing it all in random? Mm -hmm. And that album came up, and yeah. they like really liked it. And he's like, can I get this album? So that's when I went out, and I found it. Um, I found that album in VG+, Plus, and it's more like VG++, Plus Plus, and uh, it was a buck. And so that's where I got that Black Sabbath 13 album too at the same time. So. And guess what? He couldn't find it any cheaper than $10. Yeah, I was trying to find it. And then the real cheapest I could find it was like 10 bucks for not a very good condition. So I was pretty pretty thrilled about that, right? Oh, so um, unfortunately, and, when and they got shipped here... And this is a gatefold, so I'm going to show you the interior. Yeah, when it got shipped, the guy didn't protect it as good as he could have. And the corners got a little banged up. So, um, the really classy guy he is, he uh, refunded the money on my Black Sabbath album. I I was like shocked. 
I was like, why'd you do that? This is like a poster interior. Yeah, the gate folds are cool, aren't they? Back it up a little bit. And that's him walking on a dirt road. Yep. Wait, is that actually him? It is. Yep, that's him. One of the, one of the cool things about records is that our boys are finding out is that they can sit here and look at artwork while they're listening to music, right? Isn't that yeah. cool? Yeah. That's... All right. So. so why I got that record was because it had an Elvis song on it, and the Elvis song is called Hog Down. Hog Hound Dog. There you go. You're nothing but a hound dog. Yep. Crying all the time. Are you, are you a hound dog crying all the time? Elvis. Yep. So what? what is this here? Oh, maybe just one record. Two record. So you don't have to take them all out because Three, they all look the same. Five but no, so, actually, Dad, they have different. Colors. They do. They are a little different. You're right. So tell about this set. Okay, so it said twenty bucks. Yeah, Harry, but I got it for a deal. Can you see it now? I think they'll believe you. And I got a deal for ten bucks. Yeah, where we? And, where were we at? At elect. Place. We're at a record show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is volume one of Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. Elvis. Elvis. Victorious World 50 Golden Awards hits volume one. And this actually has 50 songs on it. And the last one is Cutting Kentucky Rain. Yeah. Don't. Cool. Don't so you cry, don't, Daddy. So don't you cry, Daddy. Don't cry, Daddy. You're telling me not to cry? All right, buddy. No, dad, Dad, look. Don't cry, Daddy. Don't cry, Daddy. Yes, that's a song. So don't cry, Daddy. He's really in an Elvis kick right now, so which is really cool. All right, should we knock through my last ones right here real quick? Oh, my All right, baby. so another Amazon find I had. I want to say this was about 12 bucks. The Doors. I, I, I used to have this on. And the deal was for $10, I had to listen to them all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the guy he bought that from, he said, if I give free $10, you have to listen to every single song. And no you're working sponsoring. on it, aren't you? No sponsoring, so I can't show you this. All right. So, The Doors. I had this on cassette tape in high school, and I haven't listened to it since, and I saw this. Like I said, for like 12 bucks or what have you. And I decided to get it. And it is just a phenomenal recording. I, I love it. Um, the, the, the album, when I pulled it out of here, it was um, in this sleeve right here, right? So the paper, I, I had never seen one of these. And I don't know how common this was, but the paper was actually around the sleeve like this. So, kind of cool. It looked like that was an original way of packaging. So, I was, I was pretty shocked. Is the record shocked. different? No, nope, the record's just a... Black record. Just a record. Right? The, the old Electra album. So, um, I have a couple more left. So, let's, let's knock these out because we're almost at 20 minutes here. So far all right so we've got a couple more left so some more deals I got um, I want to say that I got these last two these two here for like ten dollars or under on Amazon brand new they're the re-releases and they sound great um, kiss crazy nights so uh, dad yes where's the one that has the white lines I don't know what you're talking about so the one. All right, so um, Carnival of Souls. This is one I've never had, and I've really never listened to it, because um, it kind of came out after I was listening to Kiss, 
and um, I stopped listening to a lot of music in the 90s and I don't know if I've gotten into that yet but um, I will someday so Carnival of Souls uh, this was put out as kind of an afterthought because the can you stop that please all right this was put out they weren't gonna put it out and I guess it um, got released somehow bootleg or whatever so they decided they put it out this was, they put it out actually after they got back together with Peter and Ace and started doing the makeup and everything so I like it um, I've listened to it a couple times now I, I don't have any issues with it yes it does have more of a, a 90s grungier theme to it but all right so we've got two more to get to this is running long but that's all right I haven't been away for a while or I've been away for a while right I'm tired are you tired? I'm tired. All right. Peace. Black. Rust in peace. So it's I'm filling out my Megadeth albums now. This is my first Megadeth on on I record. That was your second. No, nope, I, I don't have. Yeah, I tried to get uh, Dystopia like three times, and every time it came in, it was just a bad, bad pressing. So kind of, I don't know if I want to get another one. I, I I hear that they there are good pressings, so. Can you please put that down? All right, so this the was is a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal record. So if you can see it, um, it was a limited edition, I guess. They say limited edition, but there's probably millions of them made or something. But it's it's, it's an absolute reproduction of the original. So what's your um, number? The it doesn't have a number. So the when it came, it came in a nice uh, poly lined liner and then the actual lyric insert was separate it the album wasn't put into it so that's pretty cool all right one more now <coughs> excuse me my last the one, one that hypnotized the, you. oh you, you mean the vertigo labels yeah. oh that's the 13 the black shadow 13 oh, so that is my first vertigo label album right you, to show it. you want to show it real quick yeah. okay we can do that i've already got a long video might as well make it a little longer right so we'll show we'll show one of the labels real quick how many of them are there in there there's two so the vertigo label you wanted to show it off so if you haven't seen one there's one right there kind of trippy when it's spinning around isn't it yeah right so yeah he saw it on the turntable yesterday and he's like wow that's really cool dad so, it almost hypnotized him did it almost hypnotize you yes all right we'll set these right there for now all right can i get to this one now all right do i have your permission all right so this album i was looking around on amazon like i do sometimes or ebay or eBay yeah I don't buy a lot off eBay um, so and I saw this album and I was like man I've never heard of that album so and it's it's a tribute album to a guitarist that I really liked a lot Randy Rhodes so it's the immortal Randy Rhodes it's a tribute album and if you look at the guys that are on this there's a lot of people that we know their names you know George Lynch Dweezil Zappa Bruce Kolick um, uh, Bob Kolick, his brother, Gunzo. was a big part of this. So, um, if I can show you Guns D. the songs Brandon that are Guns done D. here, there we go. Dog. So there's a lot of the artists that are. Dunge, it tells Alex Wolfie. So a lot of the artists that are on this are ones that you've seen before. The main singer in most of these are Ripper Owens, which. Everybody knows who he sang for. So um, I'm pretty excited about getting this opened up and um, listening to it. So here, we're going to do a sealed to reveal. Don't cut me open. So in this, this album, I want to say it cost me like $10 or something when I saw it. So I was like, hey, you know, don't know if it's any good or not. But it's pretty cool. Shot. A tribute to Randy Rhodes. All oh, right. Right on, look at that. Whoa! PV amp. That's pretty neat. Isn't that cool? Alright, let's check out the records. Thank you.
Oh, a whole uh, talking about Randy Rhodes. Well, I need a lot of static. Oh, my word. Ooh. What? Clear record. Oh, no. It's got a picture of Randy on it. It's clear. That means you can't see where scratches are. That's that's absolutely true. So you have to double clean it. I'll have to double clean it before I play it, won't I? Yeah. All right, there's the first one. I guess so they were clear. Static. I didn't I didn't realize they were a colored album. I kind of prefer black, but I think colors is cool sometimes. Yeah. Just the same, yep. Kind of a, a yellow. It's got a little bit of a swirl in it. Yeah. Same. It's got Randy on one side and the titles on the other. So I'm going to take a listen to this and uh, see how I like it. So. Yeah. So Clean should we go? Record. Should we go listen to it and then see what we, what uh, we like about it? Yeah. We'll so, be right back. Bye.